This is One Minute with Manny Mill. We let our Heavenly Father begin the conversation by reading from the Bible, and then we respond in prayer, using that scripture as the foundation for our praises, confessions, and petitions. Here we go, a very famous Psalm, Psalm 34, verses 8 through 10. What a great promise See, this is for us today. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, yes, he is. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Oh, for the, this, this, these three verses here are filled with truth and promise, with an invitation from you to taste you and to see that you taste real good and you want to keep coming back and coming back and coming back and keep eating, Father, from your table because you always provide. We don't know what's coming, but one thing we know, everything that is coming on your table is good. Because Father, that's what you promised right here, that those of us who fear you, Father, will lack nothing. Those of us who know you, Father, who seek you, shall not lack any good thing. So we're putting our trust in this promise. This is a promise that you've given to us. You give it to King David, You've given it to us because for you, Father, there's no favoritism. So we are going to take this promise, this truth right here. We're going to taste you alone. We're not going to go to anybody else. We're going to sit only at one table. We're going to drink the pure milk. Father, as well, we're going to eat the bread and see that it is delicious. So, Father, we come. We come and we say thank you for your provision for your protection. Oh, Father, we want to give a good testimony that when we come to you, you are a great provider. You are a great Father. Help us to promote and to proclaim Christ everywhere that we go. We want to be a vessel of mercy on this day. In Jesus' name, I pray through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Friend, verse 8 is probably a familiar verse to you, but have you ever stopped and meditated on it? Here's a wonderful, helpful thought from Dr. John Piper. To you who say you have never tasted the glory of God, I say you have tasted many of its appetizers. Have you ever looked up at the sky? Have you ever been hugged? Have you ever sat in front of a warm fire? You say you haven't tasted God's glory. I say you have tasted the appetizers. Go on to the meal. Go on to God himself. If you want the most concentrated display of the glory of God, look at Jesus in the Gospels and look especially at the cross. This will awaken your taste buds. You have tasted the appetizers. Now go on to the full banquet.